Tuesday, 19th of June, and I got this Mercedes truck today, unfortunately. And pretty scary, the guy who had it said that uh, the engine was bad, and uh, when he was driving over here on the motorway, he couldn't drive faster than 60, 70 kilometers an hour. Um, but then I tried it, and the engine was perfectly fine. So I don't know what he did wrong, but I thought like, what the hell, I'm, I'll just take it then, because there's, there was like no other truck. Or there was other trucks, but they had full of empty goods that they had to empty before they were available. And I just want to get going, because I want to quit early, hopefully. <laughs> oh, look at all this traffic. And of course the AC is not working, I guess, on this truck. Shit, shit, shit. I'm gonna get nasty today. It's uh, 25 degrees, according to the truck. And uh, today is supposed to be uh, 21 degrees. Oh, and then it's gonna rain the rest of the week, what the hell? It did rain uh, this morning, quite a lot. Yeah, really much. Like a thunderstorm and then the, and you can see it's like on the shifted flags over there, they're like blowing really much. Also, it's like a storm. But man, I feel like there's so much dust in here. And it's so hot without AC, I'm just, I'm so troubled right now. Man, I hate this job, sorry, but... Like, I, I have enough money now, I don't want to do this job anymore. I just want to, I can't wait till I change jo job, I really am longing for that. And this needs some cleaning. seems weirdly adjusted um, yeah, like that more up it was, it was so long down wow look at that jeez you can put them so long down on these Mercedes trucks that's interesting. Man, weird how that mirror looks so clean compared to this one. Maybe he drove into some dirt on the left side for some reason. Oh, a puddle, I guess. Right, here we go, guys. Up the hill. 410 horsepower, a V6 engine. No bananas. As you guys can tell, it's got perfectly normal amount of power, this truck. Can't see what they set the speed out to. Uh, so many warning messages. How do I exit out of these? Finally, there we go. Right, there's, it's not set to anything. It's BS. It's bullshit. It says BS down there. Oh, it's so hot in here. Give me some air. People are so stressed. Wanting to overtake me on each side all the time. down the seat although I can't tilt the seat it's really awkward I can't tilt the seat on this truck it's broken the lever is broken can't tilt it so I'm sitting really awkwardly really nasty just straight on my butt oh well 
Oh well, you can't have it all you guys, like imagine in the old days where you didn't even have these kind of silent, smooth running trucks. They were noisy, they were stinky, it was no AC, it was manual with clutch, so yeah, I shouldn't complain, you know. <laughs> You can actually hear the tire, the tire onto the pavement if you listen closely, or maybe you can, but I can. Man, I don't like this. Now I have to like, I don't know how much to have down the window for it to be nice air. They still, Flotspur, they still have the skiing posters. The winter posters <laughs> even though it's midsummer now tomorrow I think it is it's the last day when the Sun is going to be the highest and then it's gonna go turn into start turning into winter again by tomorrow and then also there's midsummer now midsummer uh, Eve on Friday and we were all free from work very nice uh, 19th 22nd June is Midsummer Eve, which is now on Friday. Today, as I said, is Tuesday. So then, after that, it will become winter more and more. Each day, it will become darker and darker. Already, man, it's so quick. I wish I could have taken vacation sooner. But luckily, it's like my last week now of work. Then I'll be free. Yeah, but uh, no. If you if you want to live like me, like I'm trying to do, I'm trying to uh, be financially independent, or however you say, like you don't really need to rely on money. And I don't want to save up too much money. Some people they just work and work just because they think it's fun, and they want to like save up money for buying something really, really expensive I don't know but that's just not the right way to do it I think because when you got all the money maybe you don't even want to buy that thing anymore or like maybe the world is gone into a disaster and all your money is lost and then you worked your whole life for nothing like what if the power no longer works the electricity stops working completely like some or something like the electromagnetic field in the earth just changes by something or some event and then all your money will be gone because all your money is electronically in the banks <laughs> so yeah i just don't want to have too much money i want to kind of try and also minimize all my expenses as much as possible except the important stuff like food and living like you want to live you want to have all your luxuries and you want to eat all the good food all the organic vegan foods and whole foods they, they can cost you know because they they are they they can cost i think but like your your phone like mobile phone maybe you don't have to buy a new phone every day or what's i'm saying every day every every half a year or maybe you don't have to buy a new car also every year look at this red car now what's he doing there you go he decided finally to overtake me <laughs> so yeah you should just try and you know at least for me like I try and uh, have as little expenses as possible but I still I want to ex have expense like the important stuff like food and maybe some beers and wine here and there they're so nice like a cold beer in the summer that's so so worth the money uh, but just just you know just moderate that's the thing you gotta stay moderate I don't party anymore I don't drink myself to death anymore 
because I think it's so unnecessary. It's such a waste of time and money. I'd rather be out in nature or just enjoy myself in other ways. So that, like that, that apartment I bought it was so cheap. It was incredibly cheap and still so close to Stockholm. And then I don't pay so much in the monthly monthly bill. Um, so I'm just gonna try and now we have a lot of spare money, so I'm just gonna be like not work and I'm gonna like figure out what I'm gonna do with my life or work or profession because I might want to change profession, sorry guys. Might not be any more cool driving bro videos, who knows? I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. That's the thing though, I really wanna try and uh, do uh, long distance trucking on a nice company where you're mostly by yourself and not having to go to a big terminal all the time and stuff like that. A more smaller company, maybe not even doing distribution, more maybe like a... Again, I forgot what those are called. What is that guy doing? Uh, you know, the, the truck with the hooks in the back, which just changes containers, or maybe you're doing a tipping truck. You know, trucks like that. I'm gonna try some more different trucks and just work part-time, never full-time like I, like I do now. I only took full-time because I wanted to have the safety of if I get sick, and I've been sick a lot now, so that's great. Then I've had getting some sick uh, money because I broke my back, I broke my knee. I had the stomach problems, they put tubes inside my stomach. So yeah, then it's perfect. But now I'm feeling better, I've gone vegan now this year. I'm feeling a lot better. All my problems are kind of disappearing, except of my knee. So uh, I might not need full time anymore. Uh, and you do also get sick payment on part time, but only after two weeks though. So you have to be sick for two weeks then. And then it it gets calculated by your yearly income only, so you get less maybe. But it's fine. I'd rather have that than having to work full time, man. I hate full time. No life, no life really. Just every single day, five days a week. You know, wait. It's oh, well, look at that mirror. Who adjusts the mirror like that? And how can I have noticed that earlier? I didn't even check. Shame on me, shame on me. That's one of the first things you should do when jumping in the truck. Check out the mirrors and adjust them, especially the small ones. Now we're in Huddinge. Taking that curve like a racing pro again. <laughs> and these are the trains that go to where I'm going to live also, so that's nice. You can go to Stockholm in like two hours on the train. Man, I'm so excited. There's sirens somewhere, probably on the big road. Here they come. Oh, it did. Both there, right? I forgot to gas, shit. Focusing too much on the ambulance. Also, I was thinking like, I need to have some room or le of uh, left over in case it comes an ambulance behind me. So yeah, sometimes you gotta be with the traffic flow, sometimes you gotta have big distance and sometimes you might I have to think about any ambulance. Usually when you, there's an ambulance or police coming behind you in your truck, uh, you have a pretty hard decisions to make because you're so big you can't pull over and they can't pass you. So you have to continue driving and that feels wrong when there's an ambulance behind you. But really that's the best thing to do, continue driving. And when there's a big road, then you can let the ambulance pass, you know. So you should never just stop or stop on a really dangerous place if it's maybe tight country road, curvy, 
and you need to keep going you know like like that uh, like that uh, video I recorded earlier called uh, police situation if you haven't seen that man that video got like 200,000 views I guess uh, the, the title was kind of clickbait like po people probably thought I was pulled over but really it was just a situation where the police wanted to overtake me and it was over here on a really tight curvy country road and I didn't know what to do if I should stop or if I should continue going to a wider road so I kind of decided to continue going to a wider road and then just pull over there instead which was still also a little bit dangerous but it worked it turned out good it turned out good so yeah yesterday I did actually not have anything to eat at all kind of or I mean no food really on the whole day I just ate when I came home I didn't feel so hungry I don't know what's going on with me I'm feeling a little bit sick yeah I need some more sleep I need to sleep earlier I sleep like three o'clock in the night it's not so good and then I wake up by people outside So yeah, no problems with the truck, man. It got good power and everything. I don't know what that guy was talking about. He seemed a little bit off. <laughs> like many people do in this business, because, uh, I don't know. Many, many truckers are weird. I, I'm sorry, guys, but I bet there's a lot of you guys out there, truckers, who's great people, and I know a great lot of great people also oh shit man what's going on here yeah but just most of them are just weird plain weird like introverts wow jeez change the gear stupid truck and now it changes to too high gear this truck is retarded also 